In this video, we're going to look at factoring using the what we call factoring, or factoring when we have situations like this. If we have ax squared plus bx plus c, well, we have a number in the front and we can't get rid of it. So we're going to use what we call the AC method of factoring. So for example, if I have this, 3y squared minus 17y plus 10. Well, I can't factor out that 3, so this is what I do. I actually multiply the first number times the last number. So 3 times 10 is 30. I look for factors of 30. 1 times 30, 2 times 15, 3 times 10, and 6 times 5. All of those get me to 30. But only one set is going to get me to that middle number of 17. And that is 2 and 15. What kind of signs do I have? Again, going back to those signs. Same signs, both negative. So negative 2y minus 15y. And it doesn't matter which way you write it. It's the same thing as long as you have the correct signs. So what do we do? We rewrite the trinomial, so 3y squared, put these new terms in the middle. First and last term doesn't change. Now we have four terms, so what do we do? We factor by grouping. So we have a common factor here of y. So what do we have left? We have 3y minus 2. Factor out the common factor, remember we're taking the negative, the common factor is 5. What do we have left? 3y, remember to change the sign because you factored out a negative, minus 2. So you're left with 3y minus 2 times the quantity y minus 5. Another example is if you have something like this, 12 m to the third plus 10m squared minus 12m. Well, before we do anything else, we see that we have a common factor of both a 2, which goes into 12 and 10, and an m. So we're going to take out a GCF. So this is equal to, when we take it out, we're going to take out a 2 and an m, so what do we have left? 6m squared plus 10 divided by 2, 5m, remember subtracting exponents, minus 6. Now we can use our AC method of factoring. So we're going to multiply 6 times 6, which gives us 36. We need factors of 36 that get us to 5. And in this case, 9 times 4 will work. Say, um, opposite signs, bigger factor positive. So 9m minus 4m, that'll give us that plus 5m. So we're going to factor by grouping. So I'm going to group this by putting 6m squared. Put the new factors in. Remember, first and last term does not change. Now we've got our four factors. Let's group these guys. So we have 2m. Again, don't lose your GCF. Common factor of 3m. So what do we have? We have a 2. 6 divided by 3 is 2. m. 9 divided by 3 is 3. And the m is gone. In the second set, we have a common factor of 2, but make sure you take it out as a negative 2. And we have a 2m. Again, you factored out a negative plus 3. We have the same thing in the binomials. Ah, great job. So 2m, the GCF, the common factor, and the leftovers, 3m minus 2. 
Now these do tend to take a lot of practice, so make sure you practice these.